Steph's been like this for three years already and she can't even come out of her house. I had four surgeries in January 2015. My nanny died and it's very difficult for me to get in and out of this house because the front patio is down and the back stairs are narrow. I'm literally stuck in this house ever since I got home. And I don't like it whatsoever, but I have no choice but to live here. It's black and full of mold and it's holes. Not livable. A doctor even told me that I was, it wasn't livable, but I told him this is my, this is home to me. That's the only place I got to live. I have nowhere else to go. The situation for her is, it's very depressing for her. She's, she's not herself because of the way her house is, and plus she's sick. Kids get sick. I can't even get my grandkids to come and stay with me. I have grandkids, I have four grandkids, and they can't even come and visit for the day without, there's too much mold in this house. It's a very big problem. There's a lot, probably over thousands that have homes that aren't livable, that have families, or four or five families living in one house, and that have kids, and I think that they should really get on it. Everybody has to get something done. When, when it's needed, when it's asked for. I've asked, yeah. They told me no no money, no lumber. I asked for a ramp because I've been sick recently. People don't see it from the outside until you come in the inside. 